Ассаламу алейкум, хроматли достар. Мистер Тебек Сивик, канал Гехуш Кельпсадар, Беза Хадрде, Америка Хушман Шатларна, Инкоз Екоруньян, Университет Лардамбара, Вайоминг Университет Дамас, Бу Вайоминг Штата, Варами Шахра. Буйердот Кенсафар Боган Пайтем, Джудием Коп Савала Боган, Канак Леб, Манашу Университет Талабас, Бориш Мункун. Канак Худжетлар, Колевер Сагарда, Ингрис Теле, Итарли Дараджада, Рожда Мангамуса, Унден Немак, Лешим Скерек, Ва Кимги Мороджат, Лешим Скерек. Айнен Манашу Масран Хадр Кутарамас, Ва Хадр Нуздде. Манашу Мин Адам Дотрген Аджайбар Айол, Унесма Фредерик Сьюз, Манашу Университет Не, Демик Ингрис Теле, Маркезана Рахбара, Ва Шу Айол Сидерге Хадр Интервью Оркали. Что не знаете, братики, ханакалаб, манашу университета, сизлар талаба борисилерси мумкон. Яни худжетлар нухто низардан, ва агарда ингрестеле йетарли даражада рвождамаган боса. Уларна хамасну хазрунзде бригаликте манашу айалдан бливаламс. Керестигма? Hi, good afternoon. But I know you're Dr. Thies, the director of the uh, English Language Center at the University of Wyoming. Is that correct? Yes, that's correct. You know, that's my pleasure. Thank you very much for coming and for this interview because it's really nice for our students in Uzbekistan. When I've been here just a couple months ago, it was a huge interest. We're going to be a student of this university, but how we can do it? That's why thank you very much. And I think that interview would be very, very productively for our students. Good, good. I'm glad to help you. Okay. I'll give you not um, so many questions, just seven. Okay. You know? <laughs> You know, uh, when I've been here before, uh, I saw all the process, uh, the students and the studying process, and uh, I told to my followers on Instagram, on YouTube, on Facebook that uh, everybody who has some, uh, you know, expectations for the best education in America, they have to be here in Wyoming University. But as Ronald Reagan, the 14th president of the USA, once said, trust but verify. That's why you're here. And the first question, what is the goal of this program at this center? Well, the English Language Center has two very important roles to play for the university. One is that we're a front door for students who need to improve their English before they can start a degree program. So we have, with admissions to the intensive English program, the conditional admission to a degree program. Because the University of Wyoming is such a good institution, we actually need a 3.0 grade point average from students in order to To get that conditional admissions to degree programs. But as soon as you're in the door, the English language program does a lot of academic skills support. We teach students how to study, how to learn vocabulary better. We teach a lot of things that are special to disciplines, so science English and math English, in addition to what you need for a history or a literature class. So we have that role. Um, and we also play a very important role for advertising the university. We have our summer study tours, which are a good way to see Wyoming. Um, this last one, we took students to Yellowstone, so they got to see Buffalo. <laughs> and all of that is to learn culture of Wyoming and to get a lot of speaking practice for English, because we know in many countries, people read and write very well, but they always need a little extra practice to speak. So we do our study tours as a way to show off Wyoming and give people even more motivation to become a University of Wyoming student. Okay. So the next question, uh, how students can apply to the uh, ELC, uh, English Language Center? Oh, to come in through the English Language Center, it's an online application. It's on our website. So it's just UWYO, and it's backslash ELC for English Language Center. I'd like to down it below this video. Yes, that's a good idea. <laughs> um, and all the information is there. We ask students to um, put an official transcript on it. Uh, if they want to get the degree admissions with their intensive English admission. If they just want to come for English improvement, we don't even need a high school transcript. It's okay to just come. If you're a business person and you wanted a semester of English to improve your business practice, you can come and we don't even need the academic requirement. But most students have a better chance getting their visa for the United States if they include their academic credential. So that means a high school transcript. Okay. 
So you do that. Information is very basic. Copy of your passport. We also need a bank document that shows you can pay for your living expenses while you're in the United States. And so those are the primary requirements. And it's not too hard, but it doesn't hurt to have somebody help you if you have problems with English. It's not too hot, and I just remind the very famous British proverb, devil is not so black as he's painted. <laughs> yes? It's very true. How does your ELC Center help uh, prospective students to be admitted to the University of Wyoming? Oh, that's an excellent question. Um, what you do is through the English language application, and if you include all that academic criteria, we give you a conditional admissions letter that says as soon as your English is good enough, you'll be welcome into the full degree program that you've applied for. Uh, in the English Language Center, for us, this is, means giving a paper TOEFL. We're kind of old-fashioned in a good way because people do better on paper TOEFL. <laughs> and as soon as your TOEFL score is high enough, some people it takes them one semester because they just need to polish academic English. Yeah. And you don't have to be in any specific level class. You don't have to finish the whole IEP. If you're an intermediate student and you study super hard and do well on your TOEFL, then you can pass go and head into your degree program as soon as you're ready. It is semester long long programs, though. So that means okay. finishing in May or finishing in January. Okay. So the next question is, um, uh, before I give it, uh, I just remind the very famous uh, quotes uh, by the first and the last president of the former USSR, Mikhail Gorbachev, who once said, uh, after the perestroika, uh, who is who? And who uh, can apply to the LC Center? Could you please tell me? Oh, well, it is important. It, you have to be 18 years old. Oh. Yeah, we don't take young, young students. And I know in some countries people finish high school a little bit early. Uh, but 18 years old is the primary requirement. If you've graduated high school, that's a benefit, especially to getting a conditional admission. Um, but other than that, anybody can come. We've had students that are 60, and we've had students that are 18, and everybody in between. So okay. all are welcome. Okay. Uh, so the next question, uh, what is the application procedure for the, ELC, uh, for the ELC and in general for the University of Wyoming? Oh, it's about the same application process. It's really about, yeah, doing the online application that's on our website and then sending materials on email. So it's pretty easy. If you can take a picture of your documents, we'll accept that on email. And, yeah, as soon as we have those pieces together, transcript, bank document, copy of your passport, those are the things that help us process your visa. Okay. You know, uh, Margaret Thatcher once said, the Prime Minister of the UK, uh, when uh, some students asked her about some recommendations for to be a very successful person, she said, study hard and you will be rewarded. Fail to do so and the consequences may be severe. <laughs> do you have any recommendations for our students in Uzbekistan? Well, this is actually a really important aspect of language study. We can build the best environment possible. Students come in, they have friends to speak English with, they live in the dormitories, yeah. they're part of campus, which is a really good place for it and language learning. But at the end of the day, it's the student who has to do the work. So we can coach, we can give the best advice, we can help people find as many ways to practice as is possible. But if you're coming here to go to sleep for six months, you're probably not going to learn as much language as you'd like to. <laughs> And uh, the last question, you know, uh, Mahatma Gandhi, who was one of the most famous Indian uh, politician, once said, my life is my message. Do you have any message or advice for our students uh, for American culture expectations? Wow, that's difficult. <laughs> Um, yeah, I mean, my life is my message. It, what the most important thing and the only reason I have been so drawn to doing international education is that at the end of the day, this is about becoming better people. And when you have more languages, when you have more understanding of how other people think, you end up becoming a better person. And so at this 
surface, it looks like, okay, I need English. It gets me a better job. People think very practically. Underneath that all, it's actually helping us develop much more interesting personality. Nice. Dr. Thieus, thank you very much for so productive, effective, and super interesting interview. Thank, thank you very much. Well, thank you so much. It's very good. Thank you. Hurmatli dostlar, ush bu video sizlarga yoqqan bo'lsa, demak sizlardan bitta chiroyli layk o'rgilib ketsin va mana shu videoning tagida biz albatta ush bu demak opamizni bergan maslahatlarini demak qana qilib qo'llasa bo'ladi hayotda. O'shalarning hammasini veb-saytlarini demak mana shu videoning tagida qoldiramiz. Iltimos, ush bu videoga dislike qo'yib qo'ymanglar va haligacha bizning kanalimizga Mr. Tabik TV kanaliga obuna bo'lmagan bo'lsangiz, bittagina mana shunda kichkina qo'ng'iroqcha turibdi. O'shani shunda bosib qo'ysangiz tagida yangi video qo'ygan paytda Shunda qilib yangi video kelganligi to'g'risida sizlarga xat keladi. Demak, Mr. Otabek TV kanalida ko'rishganda, ko'rishguncha